I'm going to say it, and I'm sure you hear it all the time, but I love your hair. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Do people tell you, you they love your hair? Yes. I, I don't. It's a really good hairdo. Um, now, this is your first time uh, on TV. Do you feel like it? it How does it feel? It really, really does. <laughs> all righty. I think that was an answer. All right. You're incredibly smart. And what is your favorite thing to learn about right now? My favorite thing to learn about now is astronomy. Astronomy. Because space never, ever ends. How is that possible? But you're like, it just is. It just is. It just <laughs> goes on forever and ever. I don't even understand it myself. Yeah, yeah. me neither. Yeah. So you like all kinds of science. Do you like biology? Yes, I love biology, but a much smaller amount. A smaller amount than astronomy. Yes. Be so I like to go outside and collect leaves uh -huh. and then go back inside and identify them. Oh, you do? That's a really clever thing, because all the leaves and all the trees are different, right? Yes. Yes, OK. And uh, you like chemistry? Yes. Yes. What is your favorite element? My favorite element is Xenon because it starts with an X. Like my name is Xander. Yes. Well, I can see why you'd like that. And, and what kind of element is that? Um, it's a noble gas. A noble gas. Are there other kinds of gases that are not noble? Um, there are other types of gases, but not cold gases. I see. OK. I don't know what that means. Like OK. I am. One of I'm the in over my head already. Why would I do a follow-up question? Um, OK, I'm going to quiz you, OK? Yeah. How many moons does Mercury have? None, because it's too close to the sun. The sun will just suck it up oh. with a gravitational force. Yes. Um, <laughs> how many galaxies can you name? Well, I can name lots. But really, in real life, there's about one hundred, I mean, 120 um, mil, I mean, billion. There's 120 billion galaxies. Isn't that incredible? Yes, the year of you, the Milky Way, is my favorite because it has life. Only one place on the have life, Earth. Yeah. <laughs> the one that we live on. Yeah, the one we live on. Yes, I know that and one. And also, um, it has the oldest star known. What is that? Um, it's called Methuselah Star. Oh. <laughs> this is what I'm like at parties, and then I just... <laughs> I gotta get a drink. I'll be right back. <laughs> How many moons does Jupiter have? Jupiter has 79 moons. Here are a few of their names. So... There is um, Ganymede, Callisto, Ayu, Europa, Amethia, Himalaya, Thebe, Alaris, Amethia, Praxidite, Lachase, Kalike, Magenta, like, and some others, like Leda. Kazoom tight. Um, <laughs> how old are you? Five? Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> what's the life cycle of a star? Okay, the life cycle of a star is first a gas cloud. Then it starts rotating. Then the core gets hot. <laughs> then it turns into a protostar. A protostar doesn't have much size or mass to create nuclear fusion. So then it's a, pl um, a yellow dwarf. A yellow dwarf does have enough mass to create nuclear fusion. Then a subgiant. A subgiant is like a mixture between a yellow dwarf and a red giant. The red giant's next stage. <laughs> and then it turns into a red giant. A red giant. So if you place the red giant um, in our solar system instead of our sun, well, our sun will in like a billion years or so. Our sun will. And it will suck up all the planets to Mars, all the inner planets. We might have to live on Jupiter. <laughs> and also, um, a red giant is very, very big. And it'll probably suck up some of the asteroids, too. It would suck up 
Um, like oh. probably a thousand asteroids from the asteroid Hello? belt. Twitch, you gotta hear this. Start over. <laughs> Very good. Okay, I'm listening. Go ahead. So, first is the gas cloud. <laughs> and then it starts to rotate. <laughs> then the core gets off. Right. Then it turns into right. a protostar. Right. A protostar doesn't have enough right. mass or even size to create a clear fusion. Right. <laughs> then, a yellow door. A yellow door right. is, um, well, a yellow door does have doesn't enough have much mass, mass to create right. nuclear fusion. <laughs> then it turns into a uh, um, subgiant. Uh -huh. A subgiant is like a mixture between a red giant uh -huh. and a yellow door. Right. So then. Xander, hold on. Hold on can one I, second. Yeah, can I just speak to Ellen real quick? Yeah, hold on. Twitch, I'm going to call you back. Okay, thank you. Here's okay. what I... Here's what I want to do, because it sounds like they live a long time, right? There's a yeah. long lifespan, and we don't even have time for all that, or else... Because, you know, the news is coming up. Um, but... So, what I want to do is I want to... Do you know how you can have your own star? Like, I can put your name on a star and you have your own star? Do you yeah. know... You, yeah. So I'm going to do that. You're going to have your own star. Let me show you what it is. This is yours, OK? And so when people talk to you, you can say, I have my own star. Yeah. And then you can find out where it is and tell us about it next time you come back. And you're going to want to see it, so we got you some equipment so you can look at the stars. I love it. I'm so glad you love it. And look what we got you over here. Great. Yeah. You have all this and you can sleep outside and, and, and watch things and if that's okay with your parents. All right. We yeah. love having you here. You come back and see us anytime you want, okay, Xander? Yeah. You're fantastic. We'll be right back. Yeah.